Hello, and welcome again. This is going to be the sixth month update to the one wheel. And as you can see by my pad here, it's had uh, plenty of usage. Look at that. Dirt. Oh, yeah. So, uh, well, let's see here. Yeah, it's, it's still awesome. Of course it is. This bad boy, man, it is it is built to last. Like I said in the last one, this thing is, uh, you know, thanks, my furnace shut off. Now I can actually speak. This thing is built to last. Once you get this, the first thing you're going to notice is, holy shit, is it heavy. And uh, it is it is very good that it has that handle there so you can carry it. Um, still, I don't carry it around just using one hand because this thing is the heavy as, you know, it's heavy. Um, so the tire, I've got some, you know, wear and tear. If you if you notice this line that I have in the tire here, this line goes all the way around my entire tire. Because what happens is when you when you ride this on any road that has any kind of gravel or little rocks in it or anything like that, it'll constantly get caught in this tiny little crevice here, and uh, rocks will. You can hear it while you're riding. They're just constantly getting smashed into that over and over and over and over. But every once in a while, when we'll get caught, a rock will get caught. And if you continue to ride it, it will start to shred your tire like that, like that one did. Um, thankfully, I, you know, didn't just keep on riding. Or, I don't know, maybe it would have destroyed my tire. But yeah, there's... There's absolutely no difference in this thing, riding-wise, since the first time I got on it. It still rides like it's brand new. It goes just as far. Um, <laughs> what else? I don't know. The thing's awesome. Um, uh, yeah, these plastic pieces are replaceable. I don't really have too much damage on them, though. I would have actually thought that they would be more damaged than they are. But I guess, you know, I'm just <laughs> I'm just an expert rider, you know, I don't ever damage it. But no, I have completely wiped out on this thing a few times and uh, got pretty messed up a couple of times. Um, if this hits your legs, <laughs> like if, you're, if your foot falls down and this spins around and smashes you in the ankle, this thing is super, super heavy. And it's going to hurt. Um, I also have a helmet that uh, I always wear now just because of how sketchy this thing is once you get to its top speed. And uh, the top speed is very fast. You know, I think it's like, it sounds like some small number, like 15 or something like that. But when you're flying on this thing at 15, it's sketchy. <laughs> uh, you're not going to be going the top speed all the time. Uh, I can guarantee you that because you don't need to go to top speed all the time on this, and you're not really going to want to. Um, it is super fun, though. I would recommend that as soon as you feel comfortable in the app, in the camera, or camera, in the phone, the one-wheel app, you, you begin riding it on its beginner mode, of course. But as soon as you can, take it out of the beginner mode, because... There's a pretty major flaw that I found with the beginner mode. Um, you do not want to go the top speed in beginner mode. It lowers the top speed down to like, I think, 8 miles an hour. And what happens when you hit that top speed is it does it does what the manual says is called a pullback. So it doesn't let you go any faster. So that's all good and great, but uh, no, it's not. It's terrifying because it just completely um, takes away the power from the one wheel, which is what is making you be completely stable the whole time that you're riding it. So once you hit that 8 miles an hour, you're going to freaking lose control of this thing real fast, and it's going to be scary as hell. And uh, after you do that quite a few times, and you almost kill yourself because uh, you went 
the eight miles an hour top speed in the beginner mode, you're going to want to take it off of that. And uh, it's much more comfortable to try to go faster in what the app calls extreme mode. It's it's just all around more comfortable in extreme mode. Um, I think that they should have just called it normal mode and not extreme mode because it sounds crazy. But uh, extreme mode is where you you're pretty much going to want to ride around in in that mode all the time after you get comfortable with you know turning and getting on and off of it and stuff. But uh, you'll pick you'll pick up on this so quick it's crazy. It only took me maybe um, two days. And then uh, it was a piece of cake from there. It's freaking crazy. This thing off roads like a mother. Uh, the the only thing that happens every once in a while is if you, um, you know, once you get a little more confident and you're going off road, uh, this this thing is so powerful that uh, if you hit any kind of like slick grass or anything like that, this could just kind of like do a burnout and uh, you'll just kind of fall off of it. But it's it's super nice for going off roading. I have a couple of parks nearby that I, I live in Pittsburgh, and there's crazy hills all over the place. And this handles the hills no problem. I actually live on a really steep hill, and uh, it's amazing how easily and you know how easy this thing just goes up and down hills. For the thing that surprised me the most is how good it actually breaks, which is pretty crazy um you know because it uses the the motor for a brake it doesn't actually have like disc brakes or anything like that um and you can brake so fast you just freaking slam this thing back and er, that thing goes right to a brake you know it goes straight to a stop and uh you can feel comfortable going down crazy hills on this because you know that you can stop which is great it's awesome and uh, so it climbs hills easy. It breaks terrifically. You can go off-roading in this thing. You can ride it around in the rain. It doesn't care. It's freaking great. So that's my six-month review on this bad boy right here. Bam. It's pretty dope. I'm actually thinking about changing the color on this. No. I don't know, just to make it a little bit different. I I would love, because you can replace these foot pads too. So you can see you just take out these four screws here. But uh, I would love it if you could buy um, interchangeable foot pads that just had different designs on them or something. That would be, that'd be dope. But yeah, that, there it is. Uh, I will make another video um, about this. If anybody wants me to, you can ask me any kind of questions that maybe you have about it. Maybe you're thinking about buying one, but you want to know uh, this certain thing or that certain thing or, you know, any uh, statistic type questions, just go on their website. Like, how long does the battery last? I don't know exactly how long the battery lasts. It lasts for a really long time, though, I can tell you that. It, one charge will definitely last you longer than you would want to ride on this thing in at one time. Your your legs, your feet are going to be so freaking sore before this thing ever goes dead on you with a full charge of riding. So you don't really have to worry about running out of battery um, if you charged it that day. And it only takes 20 minutes to charge fully from completely dead, if you didn't already know that. So yeah, if you had any, have any questions for me, I will answer them. So yeah, go and buy one, damn it.